Oh, tonight, tonight's, <laughs> I never can talk right either. Tonight's review is coming to you live from Indonesia. My brother, little Tommy's going to provide the entertainment. Are you ready, Tom? Yeah, although it's not evening here. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, you're about but I'm to, ready. You're about to go to... I, my, what's that? I have my Cavendish banana that's robust. I'll mind you, and I'm ready to start. Okay, you're at your school. I'll start with phase one. Yeah, I'm at school. Um, my students are at PE, and oh. I'm at my school in uh, here in Jakarta, Jakarta International School. Um, I see the editor holding up page one, and you'll notice right away it's a happy place. We got on the reefers, happy people. We got cupcake eating contestants laughing. You're going to want to look at this page because it'll just make you smile when you look at it. Um, we also have an article on the Marancy uh, City Council. they got a big challenge coming up to figure out what to do with their new gift, the uh, ambulance building. Maybe some of the observer writers want to write in some ideas on what they could do with it. I thought maybe bingo night every month at the ambulance building could raise some money for it. We also have a Dwight Mansfield, finally uh, retiring from the school board. The old geezer I was in class. That's right. And I'm, he said he had some tough moments. It'd be a really interesting editor to hear about some of those tough, tough moments as a as school board member. Yeah, you should give him a call. And then the... Uh, all right. Let's go to page two. Here's page two. No, thank you. You notice my school does a good job of keeping... Um, things clean. We got lots, lots of workers here doing their well, my work. Continuing on to page two, um, they added a little thing about snow angels, but not the kind of snow angels you think about usually. I usually make them in the snow. Rich Foley uh, writes about uh, tourism in Antarctica. I thought that was really an interesting uh, uh, headline, editor. It allows one to ponder it before you read the article about what's this, what's this really going to be about. I do the same thing. It was Rich's headline. I just used it. Yeah, I needed a comma, I think, but <laughs> it made me really think about it a lot. So that's good. Yeah, nothing like pondering. Page three. Sure. This looks backwards it, to me. How about to you? No, it looks good to me. Oh, okay. It says bath towels. Yeah, David uh, dug out a, the editor wrote a, dug out a 20-year-old column. Um, and I was amazed that he doesn't remember writing it. I think ponder that. He doesn't remember these columns. And it was a, it's an entertaining one. It's a challenge we all can, all us married people can relate to. Um, oh, there's something else on page two you want to go back to. Yeah, what's that? I, I think the readers might want to look carefully because there's some really interesting... Uh, info about indecent exposure in Hudson that didn't get a lot of coverage, so maybe we'll see more of that in the following weeks. I don't cover Hudson. Well, it's a, okay. But that was quite interesting. I hope to see more about it um, next week. Well, ask Mr. Right, Google. Moving on. moving on to page three. Back. Yes. Yeah, there's some more news on the, uh, the Skelton case. It's always good for us to know uh, outside of the city that what's going on there. Uh, I was interesting that uh, that the warrant papers are being suppressed. Is that your word, editor? No, it came from the cops. Okay, because I like I like that word. Okay. Um, also, we have a highlight on the police news. My other brother will be glad to know there was uh, a few animal complaints. Maybe uh, readers can try before they read the paper can try to guess just how many animal complaints there were this week. You know, they might want to guess about what they were complaining about, too. Well, we don't know, do we? No. I'll have to re find out. I was considering, I'm teaching mean, median, and mode to my fifth graders here at Jakarta International School. I was thinking maybe using the animal complaints over the one year here in the observer would be a good way to figure out mean, median, and mode. Next. Going on to page four. Better speed up, Buster. We got an obituary in this page, and uh, another highlight I think is the snowmobile operation rules in the city. 
I was, you readers might be uh, wanting to look at that carefully. You might want to Especially discuss the, that with your class too. That would that would be an interesting discussion for them. They don't know much about snowmobiles. Let's go to page five. Looks like a church page. Is that right? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yeah. Um, a lot of churches this week. Two Methodist churches mentioned, a Nazarene and United Brethren. And this is a really a rare week in the Observer because on the church page, pornography is mentioned. I think that's going to get your reader's attention. So I think that, that's great. Good for those Nazarenes. I think we're ready for page five. Six. Yeah, let's do six instead. So you got more church news on this page. Um, new pastor at Fayette Nazarene. Um, I was wondering, on the, on the picture there, you readers can maybe try to figure out just which one is the pastor. Um, I'm thinking it's the one in the middle with the collar on, maybe. Not sure. Um, we also have Lions Day in Florida coming up. That's going to be big numbers, I bet. Let's go to page seven. This is one of your best pages, I think. Um, we got some information you don't usually see in Marincy in southern Michigan. An information uh, article on pasties as a fundraiser for him to Habitat for Humanity. I was, uh, and then also I think what caught my eye was the ad for the Rex Riley. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, up. those are pasties, not pasties. No, I don't think so. Okay, I think you're right. That goes back to, uh, I think we're going back to page, uh, the page about the Nazarene pornography now. Um, also on this page is the Legion advertisement. I think it's a Legion for the Rex Riley fundraiser. Uh, I really think your readers need to look at this ad because of that, uh, that chef. You don't see a chef like that too often anymore. And that, there he is. I love that chef. I think that's a great find, editor. He's a Quanian. Well, excuse me. He's a Quanian. I, I haven't seen a Quanian like that in years. Yeah. All right. Well, good for the Quanians for raising money for that. And that's a. I like that icon. And we also have a. Make sure your readers know about the bulk candy sale, Cobes. Gotcha. Yeah, I think we went on to page eight now. We have a lot of Fayette Royalty. By Mr. Bates. Nice photos there. Um, it's very interesting how the four pictures that he has you have on right now. I swear they're wearing the same suit. They traded all four. Okay, I'd like to know more about that. Uh, page nine is more homecoming by the uh, photos by the editor. I noticed the Marenzi boys didn't wear any suits though. A little less formal, Marenzi. Oh yeah. Huh. Okay. Telephone. Page 10. We have some uh, continued council news, right, on that page? Hello. I hope the readers pay attention to the OK, the uh, library $25,000 grant for uh, help with the uh, new teen uh, area at the library. I'm really looking forward to seeing some pictures of the new teen area. And uh, it's got to be a challenge because it, you know teens change every year you know what's new you know 10 years what's popular now won't be 10 years from now so they got a challenge to design that new teen area to make it timeless so looking forward to that don't miss the honor rolls on that page as well let's go to page uh, 